States is using this, this vacuous, superficial definition of human rights to justify meddling in the internal affairs of China, not mentioning the incredible progress that China has made in economic development and literacy and education. Instead, the United States says that supposedly China is violating human rights in areas that have been impoverished, like Xinjiang, like Tibet, who are extremely poor, and China and also the people in these regions in collaboration with the Chinese government, they have helped them lift themselves out of poverty. That's the best contribution you can contribute in the world of human rights, is development and ending poverty. But because neoliberal economic policies have been crafted in a way that removes discussions of poverty and inequality from discussions of human rights, the U.S. can say that they're acting on behalf of human rights. Meanwhile, poverty is worse in the United States. Meanwhile, there are so many homeless people, and we saw a classic example of this. It's almost, it's almost funny. When President Xi visited San Francisco, the government decided to move all of the homeless people living on the streets of San Francisco out of the city because they were afraid that it would make the United States look bad if people could see how much poverty and suffering there was, how many people live in tents on the street and go to the bathroom on the street and are addicted to drugs because they have no opportunities, they have no job. So it took the Chinese president visiting the United States for the United States to pretend like it cares about dealing with the issue of homelessness. For me, those are the most serious human rights issues, the issues of not having a house, not having a job, not having food. And that's why I think China is doing a very important job on the international stage by allowing us to have a broader understanding of human rights and not allowing this rhetoric of human rights to be monopolized by the Western imperial powers that are simply using it to justify more and more colonization.